Okay, 4.3 reciprocal trig ratios. So let me introduce what this means. When we talk about reciprocals, we're talking about flipping the numerator and the denominator. Okay, in other words, um, we're raising whatever number it is to the negative one, which just means reciprocate it, just flip it. Okay, so I'm gonna work down. So the sine ratio, the normal sine ratio, is sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, well, if we took opposite over hypotenuse, what's actually happening when we take the reciprocal is we're going to end up with hypotenuse over opposite. Okay, and what we call this is the cosecant ratio. So this is the only hard part about this. You have to memorize that we call this cosecant. Okay, the short form now is CSC, cosecant, theta. Okay, when we take the reciprocal, we're essentially, what we're doing is going one over sine theta. In other words, we're going one over the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? However, nobody likes a fraction over a fraction. So what we would do just to reinforce that reciprocal is we would take one and we would divide it by O over H, which is just like saying one times the reciprocal. So then we're gonna get H over O. Okay, that's how we take the reciprocal. We flip them, we raise them to the negative one, or we put one over whatever it is. Okay, so the cosine ratio, usually cos uh, theta would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we're taking the reciprocal, what we're doing is we're flipping the cos theta over one. So now we have one over cos theta, and we're flipping the adjacent over hypotenuse. Now we have the hypotenuse over adjacent, and we're calling this the secant ratio. Okay, tangent ratio, same thing. Tan over one is getting flipped to one over tan, also known as cotangent. Opposite over adjacent is now getting flipped to adjacent over opposite. Okay, here's a hands-on example. It's going to become more clear. Determine the six trig ratios for angle B. Okay, so just to point this out, if it asks for three primary trig ratios, those are our normal ones. Those are sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, when it asks for six trig ratios, what it wants is it wants sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, and then it wants its, their reciprocals. So cosecant theta, secant theta, cotangent theta. And we do the exact same thing, we just fill them in. So we're referencing angle B in this triangle. So for angle B, three is the opposite, four is the adjacent, and five is the hypotenuse. So for sine, we have three over five, but for cosecant, we have five over three. So just flip it. Going from sine to cosecant, we just flip the ratio. For cosine, we have four over five. So for its reciprocal, secant, we have five over four. Okay, and for tangent, we have three over four. So for that reciprocal, cotangent, we have four over three. Okay, if each angle is in the first quadrant, Determine the measure of each angle to the nearest degree. Okay, so here's the thing. We don't have cosecant, secant, or cotangent on our calculators. So we can't work with 
any of these trig ratios the way they are. So we know that cosecant is actually 1 over sine A. Okay, and then this is 8 over 1. So these are equivalent. Cosecant A is 1 over sine A, 8 is 8 over 1. Now, how we can work with this is we can just reciprocate both of them. So what we're actually looking for is sine A equals 1 over 8. Reciprocating is also the same as what you do to the left-hand side, you do to the right-hand side. In other words, we're actually raising both of these sides to the exponent negative 1. Negative 1 being the exponent just to reciprocate. Okay, at this point, we can just put this into our calculators. Okay, we're solving for a, not sine a, so we can take the sine inverse of 1 over 8. So our answer for a is 7 point, let's go 2. Oh, it says nearest degree. Okay, 7. 7 degrees. And we'll leave this as angle a. Okay, so for the second one, secant b equals 5 over 2. Again, we can't put secant into our calculators, so we have to present this a different way. So we're going to present secant b as 1 over cos of b. Okay, these are equivalent. So I haven't changed anything, therefore I don't change the right side either. I leave it as 5 over 2. Now, what we do to the left-hand side, we do to the right-hand side. I'm going to raise both of these to the negative 1. At this time, we get cos b equals 2 over 5. I can now work with this in my calculator. We're going to cos inverse this side, and we're going to go angle b equals cos inverse of 2 over 5, and I get 66 degrees. Okay, and for cotangent, again, I can't work with cotangent, so I'm just going to rewrite cotangent as 1 over tan C, and I'm just going to rewrite 5 over 16. Now I'm going to raise both of these to the negative 1, essentially. In other words, just reciprocate it. Just go tan C, which is a flip, and then flip this, 16 over 5. Okay, so our angle C is going to be tan inverse of 16 over 5, and what we're going to get is 73 degrees. Example 3. Determine two angles between 0 and 360 that have a cosecant of negative 2. Okay, so 0 and 360, what we're actually doing is we're considering one full rotation of the circle. So we're going to go from 0 to 360, and I'll just remember this is 90, this is 180, this is 270. Okay, so if it says that it's a cosecant, so cosecant of negative 2, we're kind of we're starting with the same thing as we did above. So we can't work with cosecant, so let's rewrite it. 1 over sine theta equals negative 2. Okay, now that we've rewritten this, let's take the reciprocal of each. So now we're dealing with sine theta equals negative 1 over 2. Okay, so when I'm thinking about negative 1 over 2, I consider the 30, 60, 90 special triangle. Okay, so this is 2, opposite 30 is 1, opposite 60 is root 3. Okay, so this is 30, 60, 90. So which one are we talking about 30 or 60? Which one has the has the ratio 1 over 2 for sine, okay? 
I mean, if you take your calculator and you put in 0.5 and you sign inverse, you're going to get the same answer, but just an appreciation for the special triangle. So the theta in this case is going to equal 30 degrees. If we have, for example, a positive there. So we're looking for a cosecant of negative. So C A S T. Cosecant and sine, because they're reciprocals, they're going to share the same properties. So our question actually is, where is sine? Negative. Because we're essentially doing like the sine of negative one over two. So sine is going to be negative in the third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. Okay. In the T quadrant and the C quadrant. Both of these angles are 30 degrees. Right. And you can label everything as like the special triangle or the one over two. Um, but we don't have to. What we're looking for is theta one and theta two. So theta one is going to be the 180 plus 30. And then the theta two is going to be, so I'll draw these. Theta one is going to be this angle and theta two is going to be this angle, which gives us 360 minus 30. Okay, so we have 330 degrees and we have 210 degrees. So those are the two angles between 0 and 360 that have a cosecant of negative 2.